name's Robin and I've been having lots of people interested in how I use crutches. So I thought I'd just give a little demonstration of how I'm currently showering. So if you have a therapist that you're working with who can give you some advice on how to get in a shower or your bathtub, and of course it's going to vary according to your individual circumstances and your setup, um, but I just wanted to show you what I'm doing right now. And crutches are by far the easiest to get around in the bathroom because they just allow you to maneuver more than using a walker or using, um, unless you need to use a walker, of course. But if you can use crutches, I find it easier to use the crutches than, like I can't use my scooter or anything in here um, because it's just, it's just too small of a space and it's just not effective. So one thing you do need to be careful of is the bath mat that you're not gonna catch your crutch on it. So be really aware of that. Um, and I can't put any weight on my leg right now, so I hold it up. I don't know if you can see that. I'm holding it up behind me. And I have a step into my shower, and you can also see I have a seat in here. Because it's just, it's just it's a lot harder to stand up the entire time showering on one leg. And I guess I should show you this too. I also have a cast, so I have to cover my cast. I was using this garbage bag, you know, and taping it around the top, uh, but it was just too much of a pain. So my husband went and got, and got me this, and I, I don't think this is the best. It's kind of like a tourniquet, because it's really tight, the elastic, but it's just the right size, and it has this double elastic. So what I do is I put it over my cast. I have to really lift my foot up really quite high to be able to reach my foot to get it on because of my pointed, pointed toe in my cast, uh, because of my Achilles tendon repair. And then it has these two elastics. So I have been rolling up a cloth, and putting it inside once it's on my leg uh, so that it just, this cloth will stop any water from getting into my cast and it's been working well. But I know that there are probably better, more expensive ones that you can get, um, so we'll see. That's what I'm using for now. So getting into the shower, it's just easier to have a seat and uh, it's just a lot less energy to use, right? You can stand up in the shower if your balance is pretty good and if your shower is pretty pretty small and you can put your hand on the wall but it is a slippery area as well so I feel I just feel it's just easier for me to sit and I like showers so I don't like to be quick <laughs> okay so I turn around come up here with my crutches and then there's a step to get in so obviously I have to use my crutches to get in I'm not just gonna hop in or anything because it's slippery and uh, so this is what I do I have my crutches on the outside and it's just like going up a step oh, like on a staircase and I just lift my foot up and in. Now I don't like to get my crutches wet because the tips of them do get slippery when they're wet, so be aware of that. So I just put them outside, I turn around, and then I sit down. And that's all there is to it. I'm not gonna sit down because it's actually still wet from my shower this morning. And then getting out is just the opposite. Make sure you have your towel handy and make that mistake because you wanna dry yourself off just so you're not slippery. Um, and then you're gonna use your crutches also on the outside again, and you're just gonna step out. That's all there is to it, okay? So I hope this is helpful, and uh, I'd love to hear from you. If, you know, if you're struggling with a similar injury or you know any kind of fracture or not being able to put weight through your leg, I'd love to hear from you. So have an amazing day.